Hi, my name is Paul Maddox and I'm here to give you a quick demonstration of the new version of the Gorf software. Not a lot's changed functionality wise in the main modes, but there's a few extra little features and a few bits and pieces that have been tidied up. And when you power your Gorf on, as before, you'll end up in this note mode initially. And in this mode, these pots change the value of the steps, so in this case, when we're in note mode, it changes the note number. As you turn the pot value, you can see the pot number on the far left, the note value in the middle two characters, and the octave on the right. These switches turn the steps on and off. You press it and it turns it off. You press it and it turns it on. Then we have the standard switches, which are the same in each mode. So we have the start and run, which is always start and run. The mode switch, which lets you flick between modes. And then we have load here and save here. Now on my version of Gorf, I've built it with black buttons and green LEDs, which looks kind of cool, but it does make showing things up on the video a little bit awkward, so I apologise for that. <coughs> so, when you press run, it runs through the sequence and it plays the notes. You can hear there, and if you want to change the value, you just turn the knobs and you get all kinds of wacky sequences. When we go to the next mode, which is the velocity mode, these knobs now change the velocity for it. I'm running a TB303 emulator on my Chameleon, so what the velocity actually does is put in the accent, uh, uh, accent I think it's called. So, so you hear that. Turn that one up, turn that down. There you go, so anything that's above 64 triggers an accent. There we go. And again, if you want to skip a step, you just turn that off. Nice and simple. Next mode we have is the length mode. This is has two functions in this mode, just the two. These pots change the value for each step length. So we normally have, you've got 12, so that's 12 ticks per step, all the way up to 96, which is basically 96 step ticks per step, which is one beat per bar in 4-4 four, four timing. And then you go all the way down to three, which is kind of mental. I think that's something like 32 per bar in 4-4. Four, four. Most of the time you'll be spending it in 12. There's uh, triplets and all sorts of dotted semi-quaver values and things in there as well. So if you want to get really funky with the timings, you can. So let's put that back to 12. So I'll show you if I drop the last two to three, you can hear it quickly skip. Like that. Sounds a little bit bonkers. There's an extra value here. This, these switches now actually do uh, tie the note together. So if you're running a 303 emulator, it allows you to tie notes together and get that sort of classic 303 slide sound. So there we go. The next mode is the CC mode. This is CC m number one. In this one, you can set the two CCs that you can control. Now I've got this one set so it controls the filter cutoff. So you can turn the value knobs here and nothing happens because it won't send the CC until you actually tell it to. So as soon as I do that, there you go, you can hear the filter cutoff come right up. So I can put it in. There you go, have it just come up for those two steps. So move on to the next mode. And then the CC2 mode, because I'm kind and I thought I'd, most people are going to want at least two CCs to play with in MIDI sequencing. I've got this one set to the resonance, so this is MIDI CC16 for the Chameleon. So if I turn it on, there you go. I can change the resonance for that. Resonance turned up fairly high on here and then turned back down to zero here. So, in control mode, this lets you do quite a little of things. It basically allows you to control the sequencer and the way it functions. So, we'll start off our slightly manic sequence. Now, pot one controls the speed. So, we can go from very slow all the way up to really quite bad. The next knob controls, I'll stop the sequence to explain this one, this controls the range of the pots when you're in the note mode. 
So in this one you'd have 13 notes available from one end of the knob all the way around to the other end. This one you have 18, 25 which is two and a bit octaves, 31 which is two and a half octaves, then you can get 42 and you can go all the way up to all 127 values if you want. The reason I did this is normally the pot's got a range from 0 to 127 and make, picking a MIDI note that's an octave above the previous one on that kind of granularity on the knob is just impossible. So I spend most of my time with it set to 25. The next knob changes the root note of the sequence, so shift the whole sequence up, or I can shift the whole sequence down. Let's speed it up a little bit. So, there you go, all the way up, really quite low. <coughs> the next knob controls the step length, so we go from one step, so you can see it here stuck on that little one there, so not moving anywhere. Go to two steps. And surprise, surprise, all the way up to eight. No real but surprises there. The next one is the MIDI channel. So this lets you check from all the way from 16 all the way back down to one. I'm running on one because I've got a chameleon set up to work on. The next knob changes the clock between internal clock and external clock. When it's on external clock, you need to feed MIDI clock in here, otherwise, it'll do nothing. As soon as you feed MIDI clock in here, you can press start and stop. The light will come on here accordingly, and it will run through the sequence accordingly. So, there you go. It does also, when it's in internal mode, transmit MIDI clock. So when you press start, it sends a MIDI start message out the socket, and all the timing pulses, and when you press stop, it sends a MIDI stop message. Keeps things nice and simple. These last two knobs change the MIDI CC value. So you can go all the way from 127 all the way down to 0, this isn't a correct range, but it does allow you to do some quirky things like change bank patches and so on and so forth. So there we go. We have them set on 15 or 16, I think, normally. There we go. Which is the ones I use on the most. 